What's up, guys? Just practicing. That's good, that's good. Glad to see you practicing those techniques we covered in part one and two of the video. Yeah. Like we said, self-defense is not something that can be learned out of a quick five-minute video. It's something that needs to be practiced. So the fact that you're practicing the techniques is just going to help you understand them better and hopefully make them more effective and make you a little bit more conditioned to use the techniques. Okay. okay. So we covered a few nice striking techniques with our arms. Yeah. For today's video, I want to get into legs and a couple of really effective techniques that you can do with your legs to help once again create that distance between you and your attacker and get out of the situation. Right. So to start, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a basic front kick. Exactly, we're just going to pick up the knee nice and high, kick out straight forward, the higher you pick up your knee, yeah. the better, the higher you can kick as well. And then this kick can be used in two different ways. You can either kick straight up, which will be very effective if you want to kick your point between the legs and the groin. Otherwise, you can use it as more of a stomping or a pushing action, which can help get your opponent away from you and create that distance like we said. So Jonas, if you don't mind, just quickly hold the bag for me. I'll show you what the techniques look like and then you can have a bit of a look. Well, you can have a bit of a go yourself. So, technique one, obviously just the straight leg kicking up. If you do this, you're going to obviously want to kick him in between the legs. Or even on the kneecap is really great because it helps you um, get his legs out and underneath him and help you get away. Other than that, you can also push him a little bit more with your leg if you can get your leg up and then push straight out with the foot. Helps create that distance. Give it a go, see what it feels like. Let me try the pushing one. There we go, that's cool. And then the kicking one, Jonas, maybe just tilt it a little bit. And then obviously get your toes back. Okay. And then kick ah. straight up underneath. Alright. Okay. Similar, let's give it up. Okay, cool. So those were the front kicks. Now we're going to go into a little bit of a, a knee kick. Sometimes your opponent's going to be in your personal space already and you're not going to have enough time or room to get your leg up and push him away from you. Okay. So if he's already in your personal space, maybe he's holding on to you, grabbing you, shaking you around. From here, you want to hold on to him so you know where he is. And then instead of kicking out, we're just going to drive the knee up into your opponent, into his ribs. As you pull him down, yeah. you're kicking up, making him kick even harder. You can obviously do this again in the groin area, inside of his leg, kick him on the ribs, or if somehow you can get his face low enough, kick him in the face, okay? But this is really effective when you're close and you're in a bit of a scuffle with your opponent. Right. See what it feels like. Okay. There we go. Very cool. How does it feel? Strong? Yeah, it's strong. Very strong and effective technique. Okay, so besides the front kick and the knee kick, we have, um, there's one specific kick that I want to teach you that is very effective for women, especially those wearing high heels, and it's a bit of a stomping technique. It's a kick down or scraping down on his shin. You can kick across on the inside or towards the outside, okay? But it's a downwards motion and you're kind of grinding your foot against his shin, against his knee, or if you have high heels on, on the bridge of his foot. Okay. Very, very effective to get his attention away from you, onto his feet, hopefully he lets go, and you can get out of there. Okay, but we're not gonna have you do those against Jonas for now. Okay. We're gonna cover them a little bit more in the next part of the video where we'll get into a few very common scenarios. Okay. okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like we said, couple of very basic leg techniques. There's a lot of other kicks that we can do, but these are the most effective ones and probably the ones that are going to be the most beneficial for you in a real self-defense situation. Like Happy was doing in the beginning of the video, make sure you practice these techniques. You can't just watch the video once or twice and think that you're a master and think that can you can do self-defense now. Self-defense is something that has to be practiced. You have to be put in these scenarios so that you know what to expect and so that your body is physically conditioned to do what it needs to do. Okay, so if you guys are interested and you're enjoying these videos, stay tuned for part four and we'll go into a little bit of real life scenarios and make it a bit more realistic and how you can use these uh, techniques to defend against your attacker. Okay.